Hey church, hi, hope you're doing well. My name is Esther and I'm part of the team over in Chester. So special shout out to you if you're tuning in from Chester today. And I'm super excited to be sharing with you from Proverbs 20. And I could talk about the whole chapter, every single verse is gold, so much wisdom in true Proverbs style. And um, each verse is is great but I um, wanted to show just one verse today one verse really stood out to me and it is verse 24 and it says this the Lord directs our steps so why try to understand everything along the way wow what a reassurance to us especially in these current times with so much uncertainty so much unknown it's been such a whirlwind and I don't know what the year looked like for you but it's been so difficult to plan ahead to the next week let alone plan ahead the next year not knowing whether we'll be in lockdown not in lockdown able to see family not see family will we be in work will the kids be in school so much unknown so much uncertainty but this verse is encouraging us to trust in God and if I could title this devotion um, that would be it, trust in God. So if you take away one thing from this devotion today, I want you to be encouraged, trust in God. We do not need to try and figure everything out. In fact, we can't, we can't figure everything out. We don't see the bigger picture. We don't see what God sees. I want to challenge us today to think, what would our lives look like if we truly trusted in God? And um, this has been something that God has be speaking to me about a lot over the past year. I've been watching a bit of Joyce Mayer. She's got a whole series on this. And one quote really stood out to me. And she says this, she says, we really only have two options in life to trust God or be miserable, which sounds brutal, but it's so true. I've really found in my life that when I'm uh, trying to take the reins on my life, take the steering wheel, try to control everything that I simply just worry. And we can worry about tiny things, big things, what we're going to wear, what we're going to eat, you know, we worry about our kids, we worry about our health, worry about not getting enough sleep, um, that's definitely something I worry about at the moment with, I've got a five month old little boy Freddy, and there's just so many things we can worry about, but praise God that we have another option, we have the option to trust in God, and when we trust in our own strength instead of God's unfailing love and faithfulness, we, we get stressed, we get frustrated, we feel hopeless, we feel helpless. But when we trust that God is who he says he is, when we trust that his plans for us are good, when we trust him that he has today and tomorrow safe in his hands, trust him with our finances, with our health, with our family, with our relationships, when we trust in God, that is where we find our peace. That is where life becomes a joy that's where life doesn't become about surviving but but it becomes about thriving and I want to challenge us today to really trust in God um one thing that we that we can trust God in um for is that he will vindicate us for what we have lost or suffered and that's a, been a big one for the past year it might be something small like not having the baby shower that you you know dreamt of or the wedding or the birthday my husband turned 30 in lockdown I've got my 30th coming up and I'm really hoping I'll be able to celebrate with more than two friends but who knows um but it might be you know something big like the loss of a job or loss of health or maybe you know someone that's really really suffered badly in this year and we can trust God that his word says he will vindicate us for what we've lost he will restore um what we have suffered um so let's not carry the the hurt or disappointment or discouragement um but trusting god that his plans for us are good that his future for us is good in isaiah 46 verse 10 it says i make known the end from the beginning from ancient times what is still to come i say my purpose will stand and i will do all that i please our god is sovereign he is in control we can trust the the steering wheel of our lives to a god um, who will do all that, that he pleases, um, who knows the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. He holds all things to, together. So if I can give you um, 
three action points today to to help you with what this looks like practically what does it look like to trust in god um this is what um it would look like so step number one take time to listen that's the first step listen um it's so imperative that we take time to be in God's presence, to really seek out his voice for us, seek out his vision, his wisdom, his his perspective. Because as it said, be, you know, we were talking about before, he is the one that knows the whole picture, that knows what is to come. So if Barrett, Sophia Barrett has written an awesome book on this called Stay, all about staying in God's presence. And um, there's a song as well in the Audacious album called Stay. Uh, if you've got time today, I'd encourage you just to listen to that song, to take time to be in God's presence, to just get his perspective, his truth for your, for your life. And that brings us on to step number two, action point, which is step out in faith. Because I uh, can guarantee that when you take time to be in God's presence, to listen to his voice, take time to let him speak truth into your heart, you will hear his voice and he will, will speak to you and you will get fresh revelation, fresh wisdom. And often God doesn't illuminate the whole path, the whole picture. Often he will just show us that, that next step, that next step of faith that we need to take. In Psalm 119 verse 105, it says, your word is a lamp unto my feet. So in other words, God will often shine his light right um, at our feet, the, the next step right in front of us that we need to take. And it can often stretch us, it can often look scary. And it might just be something small like, you know, read your Bible, start a, a Bible reading plan, you know, the, where you've often seen the Bible as something overwhelming or challenging. Maybe God's um, challenging you to, to just get stuck in, read his word, make that a priority. Maybe it's fast. Maybe you've never fasted before. You know, we've just been a se in a season of prayer and fasting. Uh, but maybe it's fasting something like social media or, or Netflix or a meal or a certain part of your diet um, to show God that you trust him. Maybe it's your finances. And I know that this past year has has been um, you know shaking things up in our in the world of of our budget, what our budget can look like. Maybe there's been lots of job, and that's the time when we're stretched, when the budget is stretched. That's the time to go again, to keep tithing, to give a little bit more, to really show God that you that you trust Him with your finance. And um, we know in um, in our marriage and in our lives that where we've gone again, and where the budget's not worked out, but we said, you know what, we're gonna give a little bit more and um and show god that we trust him and and trust god that he will come through in our finance he has never failed he has never failed us and he has always um come through and blessed us more than we we could have hoped or imagined so you know i'd encourage you today trust god in in your finances take that step of faith maybe it's a, a business idea maybe it's a job maybe it's a you know that job application that you've been thinking about i don't know but i'd encourage you to take that step of faith and then the third the third action point today is keep Jesus in the middle um he wants to be a part of our everyday our every thought uh he doesn't want to just be you know a part of our Sunday at church or a part of that that time devotion time when you're reading the bible or right now you know when you listen to online devotions but he wants to be a part of your every moment um, so let's get good exercising some of those spiritual disciplines, praying, fasting, reading the Bible, worship, praise, get on your knees before God, tithe, you know, all those things help cultivate a rich relationship with God and keep him in the middle. And then watch what, what God will do in your life. When we do what we can do, he will do what only he can do. And he is capable of more than we could ask, think or imagine. As the verse in Proverbs says, we don't need to try and understand everything along the way. We simply need to trust God and keep taking the small faith steps as the Lord directs them. So praying for you, church, as you listen, step out in faith and keep Jesus in the middle. And remember, we only have two options, trust God or be miserable. <laughs>